Um, in lesson as a group, we were given like a sheet of codes and conventions, and we basically had to discuss um, what the codes and conventions were of our genre of music, the of the song that we had chosen, um, and if we were going to follow them or if we were going to contradict those codes and conventions. Now, the song that we chose was by an artist called Astrid, and it was called "Hurt So Good." Um, the genre was it was an alternative pop. And similar artists are um, an actual artist called Ray and also Selena Gomez. Um, now, in the alternative pop genre, codes and conventions that are normally followed are it's narrative driven, which means that it has like a story and it can be followed throughout the music video. Um, another convention is that it has costume changes, um, one to two, um, singing on location, cutting on beat a lot of lip syncing, um, slow motion, close-ups and extreme close-ups. Now of those codes and conventions that were mentioned, we decided that we would probably follow quite a lot of them. Um, the reasons that we wanted to do this was because our artist is new and so we don't want to be so out there that we only reach to um, a small percentage of our audience we really want to expand and grab as much people's attention as we can so maybe later on in her career when she's more established she can be more experimental with her conventions and how she wants to be portrayed as an artist but for now um, we decided that um, would stick to most of these conventions in order for her to be in order for the audience to you know for the audience to recognize her and what she's trying to do um, some of the conventions that we're following are singing on location. Um, locations that we've chosen are Alexandra Palace, Millennium Bridge, um, a rooftop and studio, which are both at our college. Um, we've decided to sing um, um, on location, mainly outdoors ones, because we feel like the song is a very kind of outdoorsy song. Um, it's something it sounds very like free spirited and we really wanted to like emulate that in the places that we've chosen so we've chosen like parks on top of rooftops you know and um we really wanted to try and um translate that through the places where we were filming um another um convention that we were following was cutting on beat now the song itself it does have lots of um like snappy parts and we've already actually started editing and we have done some cutting on beat and we just feel like visually it would make this it makes the song look a lot more better and it makes it look more interesting visually to the audience and we think it would be a lot more enjoyable if there's cutting on beat um we've also done um, following lip syncing um, we're doing this because she's a new artist it's a new song we want the audience to be able to understand what she's saying and if she can be seen singing it I think it would translate better to the audience the message that she's trying to get across in her music video um, we're doing also a lot of close-ups and extremes um, this is because we I was like reading somewhere that if the you see the artist of the face more, you're more likely to engage with the the artist. So I think that's why we ultimately decided to do that. Um, and also, we're doing lots of costume changes because she's on different locations, and she, outside of her being an artist, she is known for like her fashion, and so we really wanted to show that in her music video with her fashion choices and the things that she as an artist has decided to wear. And we're also following a narrative, Hurt So Good is basically about, you know, typical breakup and um, we're going to be like trans showing that through our music video. She's basically talking about a guy um, and we're still kind of trying to come up with a way to like um, portray that in the music video. But um, yeah, we'll come up with something.